In today's video, we're going to go over the math section of the Kaplan Nursing Entrance Exam, also known as the KNAT exam, and we're going to cover each and every topic that is on this section of the test so that you know what you should be studying and what you don't need to waste your time studying. Now, we do have a lot of videos on our channel in the Smart Edition online course that do really deep dives into each of these topics to really help you learn and practice these topics, but for this video, we're just going to set you off straight on what exactly you should be studying. Now, this test is going to be 28 questions in four 45 minutes. So you do have to move pretty quickly through the test, but there is some good news. The math on this test is not super complicated math. It's going to be on the more basic side. It's all math that you can do with a calculator, and a calculator will be provided to you on the screen while you're taking the test. So there's basic addition and multiplication. We're not going to go too far into that. That's pretty self-explanatory. But there are some things that you should keep in mind. There, there will be signed multiplication and division, so that could be a little trickier. We talked about the order of operations, the PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, divide, addition, subtraction. An easy way to remember that is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So you will see questions around changing decimals to fractions. Uh, this is going to be kind of converting among fractions, decimals, percentages, and doing it each way backwards and forwards. Now I have a good tip for you to really kind of double check your work and working with fractions because there are so many fractions on the test. You can use that calculator. So if you have a problem like 3 eighths plus 4 ninths, the easy thing to do is take out that calculator on the screen and divide 3 by 8, get the decimal for that, and divide 4 by 9 and get the decimal for that, and then you can add those together. And that might make more sense for you. You might not do it on every problem because it could kind of use up some of your valuable time, but if you wanted to maybe double check one of your answers, that's a great way to do it. To really go through all the fractions that you're going to see, there's addition and subtraction of fractions. So that's uh, subtracting and adding a fraction from a fraction, adding fractions with like denominators, subtracting fractions with like denominators. And it's going to be the same for multiplication and division of fractions, multiplying a fraction by a fraction, uh, multiplying a fraction by a mix or a whole number, dividing a fraction by a fraction, dividing a fraction by a whole or mixed number. You get the idea. There's a lot of fractions on the test, so make sure you have all of this down solid. Now there are other things on the test besides fractions. It's mostly going to be fractions, but there are other things. So things that you would see are around ratios, per proportions, percentages. So no proportions and how to solve for X, know how to change percentages from fractions to decimals and vice versa. And there will be a little bit of algebra on the test. So this is going to encompass equations with one variable, solving real world math problems. Now, a really important topic is standards of measure. This is super important for your nursing program. You're going to be using this when you're in school, when you're actually in the field. So now is a great time to learn it. You're going to set yourself up to do really well once you get into your program, which I know that you will. So really what we're talking about this is the metric system. You'll see a lot of that out in the field as a nurse or in your nursing program. There's also length conversions, so inches to feet, yards to feet, uh, meters, kilometers. And you will definitely see a lot of volume and weight conversion. So pints, quarts, ounces, milligrams, centigrams, kilograms. Uh, there's tons of this in nursing in general. So now's a great time that, uh, to learn all of this stuff. Now, another topic that you'll see questions for is word problems. We've all seen these. They can be challenging to solve, but the, the trick with word problems beyond just getting as much practice as you can is to be able to turn that word problem into an equation. So you need to be able to pull out the numbers that are important or whatever they're asking you to solve for. You need to know which of those numbers, and it might not be all the numbers, but you need to know which ones you need to pull out, and then you need to know which function you need to do, whether it's multiplication or division or whatever it is. But that's the trick to word problems setting up an equation and then going ahead and solving for that. Now, you can get a little bit tricked on this test into thinking that there's dosage calculations because of the way that the word questions are worded, but they're really just word problems. And so an example of this is something like um, a patient needs five milliliters every five minutes and you have 150 milliliters. How long will it last? Sounds like a dosage problem to me, but it's really not. It's really, really not. Um, it's not asking you how many milliliters are in a liter uh, in doing that conversion. It's not. It's really just straightforward um, kind of fractions and decimals and adding things together, um, division, multiplication. So don't get fooled by those types of questions. 
Now, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe because we have those deeper dives into all these topics. We have a lot of KNAT and Kaplan nursing exam videos coming out. So I wanna make sure that you guys see those. And again, check out the links in the description below. Tons of helpful resources to our free practice tests, our online course, our Facebook study group. We are here to help you guys. Leave comments if you have questions. We reply to all those comments. We help you guys out. So until the next video, we'll see you again soon.